Uh, this uh, survey shows that the outlook for R&D uh, investment in the country is improving. Many of you would be aware that we have had a contraction following uh, the uh, economic crisis impact on uh, R&D investment, uh, both in our country as well as in the global uh, uh, research performing uh, uh, countries. The years 2009-10 and 2010-11 were particularly difficult years in which we marked this uh, uh, very worrying uh, contraction. But uh, we are very excited that we are now noting an improvement through the results we present to you for 2012-13. You'll recall that in 2011-12, we reported 22 billion, and in 2012-13, we're reporting an investment of over 23 billion. The additional R&D spending maintained the level of gross expenditure on research and development at 0, 0.76, a 0, comma, so, sorry, 76% uh, of GDP in 2012-13. This is the same as the figure that we had in the 2010-11 and 2011-12 survey years. Now this is a, an interesting uh, uh, result uh, because while it remains at 0.76%. It's clear that our GDP as South Africa is growing. And so we shouldn't see this, the percentage necessarily as a negative, because it suggests there is growth uh, uh, in other areas. But we are worried as DST, because it's always been our ambition to be at least at 1% of GDP and we've not reached uh, that ratio at this time. So we need to encourage greater levels of R&D investment in order to enhance our competitiveness. What we report to you today shows that we are investing in research and development, shows that South Africa is improving, but it's saying if South Africa wants to be globally competitive, and align with the best, we have to invest much more. The higher education sector has become the biggest contributor to the increase in investment in research and development. Second, spending on experimental development declined between the years 2008 and 2012. Third, R&D spending on medical and health sciences has overtaken the spending on engineering sciences. Uh, and I'm sure this is going to increase even further in the health sciences with the 683 million uh, euro investment in the EDCTP uh, program that we announced uh, yesterday. The fourth point is for the second year, the R&D business expenditure in the financial intermediation real estate and business services sector is higher than in the manufacturing sector. While we note the growth and are pleased at it, we are concerned at the decline with manufacturing because that's the sector where we want to see uh, jobs and economic growth uh, occurring <coughs> uh, in South Africa. But it's great that in the financial intermediation sector, we're seeing more attention to innovation new programs are uh, uh, developed using ICT. So that uh, area of innovation and research, I think, is, is to be welcomed. Uh, fifth, we're pleased that government remains the largest funder of R&D in the country, while the bu business sector remains the largest performer of R&D. What this means is while government is the largest investor, it may be contracting in the private sector for performance uh, of certain uh, research activities.